The city of Dayton is ready to start what could be the biggest community renewal project in the city's history. The city's plan calls for spending $22 million over the next four years for demolition of nuisance properties. The News Center 7's Mike Campbell is live this afternoon. Mike, you talked with some city taxpayers and planners about this program. Yeah, James, this program will actually last four years through the end of 2026. And with a massive influx of federal cash, it will allow the city to do a lot of things they just couldn't do before. The first thing on the agenda is to take down uh, about 110 of these so-called fire piles, which are uh, piles that happen when a home gets hit by a fire and then there's an emergency demolition. And city leaders are excited about this comprehensive plan. That was really our goal was that let this be impactful. Let people really feel that um, the blight has been resolved. Stephen Gondel is deputy director of Dayton's Planning, Neighborhoods and Development Department. He said they took a year to put together this detailed plan. It will not hopscotch around the city for one house here and there. While we're on that street, we're gonna be able to address every single home. And our plan is to really do it by street by street, um, neighborhood by neighborhood. The city took down a home on Chapel Street last summer as a model for this program, but now they have the massive plan details worked out. The funding starts with more than $12 million from the American Rescue Plan. It then adds $3.5 million more federal dollars from community block grants, $3 million from Ohio Department of Development cash, and $3 million from the city's general fund. That will pay to remove approximately 990 abandoned and nuisance homes and buildings, plus clean up 110 fire piles. The program should be complete by the end of 2026. Exactly. We need that money. We need that for the community because we need, I mean, basically a lot of these abandoned houses. Terry Woodley is happy about the program kicking off, especially when he looks at the great need, like home after home here on Hudson Avenue off North Main Street. They are sagging, abandoned, and neglected. What we want to do is like their eyesores for the community, so we want to just build up the community, and I think that's a good idea. Back live now, the city has already hired the contractor that will clean up fire piles like this one, and they expect that effort will take the first six months of this year, and then the switch will go over to those 1,000 blighted homes they, they hope to take down and clean up. And the project goes again all the way through the end of the year 2026. Reporting live in Dayton, Mike Campbell, News Center 7. A lot of people are happy to see that, Mike. Thank you.